armed. Everybody, it's Kenny with Shocker Hitch here. I am showing you our Max Black HD receiver hitch that goes onto the back of your pickup. So what you see here is you have your HD airbag, your main frame, and our popular two and five sixteenths and two inch combo ball. So what this is going to do is create a buffer zone in between your truck and your trailer to absorb all that shock. So if you hit a bump with your truck, we're trying to eliminate all that shock that gets traveled into your trailer. So every time you hit a bump, all that shock, instead of going into your truck or into the trailer, is going straight into the airbag. And you can air this up separately. Yep, you can air it up separately to how much your tongue weight and your trailer weight. How do you get it adjusted correctly? When it's fully loaded, it'll collapse that airbag, so it'll pull all the way here, and you air it up on the straighter valve here, all the way up until this cushion barely touches or you can move it. And if you want a softer, smoother ride, you can always leave like a 16th to an eighth inch gap there and you get a little bit more travel and a lot more smooth ride. Where do you guys find it at? We are located in Jamestown, North Dakota, manufactured in the USA. How about the website? Shockerhitch.com. Thank you, sir. All right, Ron, what are we looking at? We're looking at Hyper Hitch's new coupler here. It auto locks or auto latches. And the nice thing about it is it has an integrated lock. So now you can lock it to your trailer, to your truck. And that's it, you just push that in and now you're locked. Yep. Lift up on it once. Lift up on the hitch. So you're actually locked just from a snap, just like yep. that. And yep. then you just a key and you're ready to go again. Yes. Where do you guys find this at? Hyperhitches.com. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, I'm with Frank and you're with Aero Trailers, right? Nice to meet you, Frank Peters. Where are you from, Frank? From Chihuahua, Mexico. Chihuahua, Mexico, and this is your trailer. You actually make this trailer, right? Yeah, I'm the owner of the manufacturer, yep. Okay, talk to me about this trailer. What do we got? That, what do you do different, Frank? I think that's a more solid of the trailer. We have the engineered beam uh, on the gooseneck on the front. Okay. And this one comes with a combo, the saddle rack on the trailer. So this is your tack room right here. So you can yep. hold how many saddles, Frank? Uh, we can hold six saddles on the trailer. Now, is this a standard design or do you have other design options that allow you to have hold more saddles, less saddles, or customize the... We have uh, more options, bumper pull or gooseneck trailers, oh, more you do. saddle or less saddles. Okay. It's rubber cleared floor, but it is more like uh, plastic. It's not that much on the rubber. It's a little less weight on the trailer on this kind of... Thing. Okay, so less... Which means it's easy on the hoofs and it won't deteriorate when the animals urinate on it. Do you have a website, Frank? Yeah, we have uh, aerotrail.com. Aerotrail.com, and your dealer locator's on there, I'm hoping? Yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. So, there you go, you guys. That's new by Aero Trailers. Frank, thank you. Thank you. And okay, Nolan, what are we looking at? Uh, so this is the RES Road Active Suspension. And so what it is, it's a heavy duty tension coil spring that when you set the tension on, it works like a muscle to hold the leaf spring in an arch position. So the more weight you put on the vehicle, the more our spring engages to keep the leaf spring from flattening out. So obviously guys that are squatting with your half ton, three quarter ton trucks, if you are if you don't want to have to deal with like airbags or, or, or you know. This is your airbag alternative. Yep. No lines to hook up, no worries about leaks. Yep. And this is, it's as simple as this. Right yeah. here. Yeah. So you put uh, you put a wrench on this side, wrench on this side. You start to crank on the tension. Yep. Opens up the gap between the coils of the spring, and that's when your spring is engaged. Once you, you just put it back on the ground, once you do the install, you're done. So how long does an average install take? Forty five minutes. Forty five minutes. And what models is this available on? So we fit anything one ton and less. Our, our really our prime market are your half ton, three quarter ton guys. So Ford, Chevy, GMC. No Dodge half tons. No t uh, no newer Tundras because they have those have coil springs, but everything else that's got leaf springs we can how about a website website's going to be active suspension.com you can also go to uh, Instagram and, and Facebook act, at active suspension RAS road active suspension got it thank you sir All right. thanks Dan and what are we looking at Kurt so this is the blue ox adjustable ball mount we've got the clamshell to make it two and five sixteenths from a two inch ball and then something we just came out with is an add-on with the step 
and you just pull these pins out. Add the step to the bottom, which pins back through. Now you got a step that you can use while it's being used as towing as well. A lot of the other ones you can use either the step or that ball, you, or you can use it on both. What's it called? Where do you guys find it? It is the Blue Ox adjustable ball mounts, and you can find it at www.blueox.com. Thank you, sir. This is crazy. Look at the abuse they're putting this trailer hitch. Through. Are these ones you find? This one has sofa lines. Yeah. Look at that. They're just dragging that. coming with a baseball bat, threatening us. Get in order! Yeah, this is our bus jockey wheels. For the, it's, it's uh, what? Bus jockey wheels for the camper trailers and uh, caravans. What do you call them? Motorhomes? Or, no, not motorhomes. Uh, Travelling trailers. Yeah. So, so that's our swing away. This will be good because you can mount it up So what it is is... Just do the side. So you can swing it out of the way. It's a bit hard at the moment because it's a bit close together. Right, 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 right. You use your drill. We do a lot of rentals, so that's a big part of it. Oh, man, that's so cool. Why, what are you doing here? I mean, look at this. That's, that's uh, recovery. So we've unhitched, we've got stuck, recovering. Wow. So because in Australia, because this is made in Australia, yeah. we are going to set up manufacturing here in America, in Utah, Salt Lake City. Uh, and that's basically for you get blocked, you get uh, revolt, bogged or whatever, unhitch, recover. That's, that's called doing. Boss B O S. Yep, that's our product there. This is the brochure. We make a couple of different doors. Um, all right, Jonathan, hop in here. What are we looking at with this one? Okay, this is our GXD 35. So it's a 35 foot long uh, goose neck. We redesigned it about two years ago, top to bottom. So this is a roll up door toolbox, something similar you'd find on a fire truck. Um, inside here, we have a pegboard system, keeps everything organized. You can rearrange it, stack what you want in here, your chains, binders, stuff like that. Auto latching, simple, straight yep. down, lockable. Uh, where do you guys find this thing at? So we are located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Um, if you want to get a hold of us, you can check out our website, BelmontTrailers.com. More information there. So this trailer has a 16-inch engineered I-beam. It's equipped with air ride axles underneath it, Dexter 15K. It has a 12-foot hydraulic dovetail. The dovetail is rated to lift 12,000 pounds and carry 12,000 pounds. It has an auto locking feature, so the hydraulic cylinders that lift it will actually push everything into a position where it binds up. That way the hydraulics aren't carrying any of the weight. Okay, I'm sold. You're sold? That's awesome. I am sold. This is amazing. Thank you. Uh, who makes this trailer? Belmont Trailers. Belmont yep. Trailers. And when is that uh, patent pending toolbox coming out? So it's available now. The last 12 months, we've spent basically setting up our assembly line, our fab lines. We even built a paint booth just for this model line. Uh, it comes with a 12-foot hydraulic dovetail or a 5-foot beaver tail. So there's two different options there. All right. And a website? BelmontTrailers.com. Thank you, sir. Thank you. This is low carbon steel, the material that most trailer locks are made from. And this is a brand new Diablo metal cutting sawzall blade. Now this- sticking a brand new one in. Brand new. And this is the Icon trailer lock, the only truly power tool resistant trailer lock. It's made from hardened alloy steel. And now we're gonna see what happens with this brand new sawzall blade on our lock. What trailer hitches will this fit on, Dylan? All the ones behind me here, we fit 95% of the, tra over 95% of trailer locks, uh, trailer couplers on the market. Okay. And as you can see, this blade 
the teeth are completely stripped off of it. Oh, wow. Okay, where do you guys find these at? Uh, you can get them on our website at altorlocks.com or on Amazon or in select retailers. Altorlocks.com. Yes. A-L-T-O-R locks.com. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, guys, Braxton has a pretty cool demo. Show me what we're talking about here, will ya? Okay, we're talking about what it means to have good tongue weight. As you're driving down the freeway and you have your trailer hooked up to your truck, you know, you have big gusts of wind that come. It's pretty easy to keep the truck aligned with your trailer. Um, but as you, you know, load your trailer improperly with less amount of tongue weight and a big gust of wind comes, it takes a long time for your truck and trailer to be back aligned. But if you have absolutely no tongue weight, the trailer will already start. I didn't even have to touch it. And it already starts going to town. So with our product, we demonstrate a way to measure proper tongue weight. And that is way safe. With way safe. Right? And you have a scale bit right into the hitches. Yep. So a guy can just kind of get in there and see exactly if he's in the safe zone or not. That's exactly Where right. Where do you guys find it? Online through our website and through a local dealer. Waysafe.com? Yes. Thank you. All right, you guys, I learn something new every day, and I'm with Jake. How are you, Jake? I'm doing very well, and yourself? I'm doing excellent, thank you. You galvanize all of your trailers. Yes, we do. Yes. And as Jake and I are talking, I found out why more companies don't galvanize their trailers is because they get damaged during the process? Yeah, that's correct. So when they dip this, they take the whole piece, so we weld it all first. It's all raw steel, it gets welded. Then when they dip this, they have a massive crane that drops it into a tank. All the pieces that stick out and protrude, like the headboard, the fenders, have to be bolted on. If not, they're going to get damaged in the dipping process. So we figured out how to basically redesign our trailers so everything that gets damaged in the dipping process is now bolted on. So And you do a lot of other little things like premium upgrades, like double wall dumps, that's right? That's correct. So the interior wall is an 11 gauge wall, which is equivalent to what everybody else uses on their dump. And on our exterior, we have a 14 gauge wall. Not only is it stronger, it's also when you dent the interior of your dump trailer, you don't see it on the outside. Yeah, you don't see the dent yeah. on the outside. But everything you manufacture is galvanized from the framework. That's correct. Up. Is that correct? Every, everything is galvanized. Our rims are galvanized. Your rims are galvanized. Yeah. What the what? Yeah, that's definitely something you don't see a whole lot no, of. No, I've never seen yeah. that. The, uh, Where are you guys up. located? We're located in Ontario, Canada. 